Vi, what happened? Are you okay? Violet, talk to me. We're here to take you home. I looked for you. When they grabbed me, I saw you let them take me. I'm just supposed to forget that because you're here now? Those wouldn't have stood a chance against these guys. I knew you could fight back. <laughs> yeah, sure. What's wrong with you, Vi? Come on, let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> no, Clem. I'm done. This whole situation is so fucked. At least here I have Minnie. You mean the Minnie that betrayed us? Don't act like you know her. She tried to escape. Her and Sophie. They said if I fight back, they'd kill Minnie. Or one of you. All you've done is get us hurt or killed. If you fuck this up worse, I'll stop you myself. We can't give up now. If they take us back to their community, we'll all die. So what? Your plan is to speed up the process? Whatever you do, leave me out of it. We're not staying here that long. Are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here. <sighs> Thank God. Is Vi all right? She's saying she won't help us. What the shit? Are you serious? Ugh. We're not moving yet, so at least we've got some time. I guess. Omar, are you hurt? Let's just get out of here, okay? We will. I found your rabbit's foot back on the beach. Clearly it doesn't work. How are you holding up? Lily... She scares the shit out of me, Clem. Earlier she came down to talk? Fuck! I don't think I've ever been that afraid. She's not messing around. We'll be home soon. Just hang in there. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. Louis, are you all right? <laughs> me? Yeah, I'm fine. Just trying to figure out the best way to survive an explosion. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. AJ, do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you, it ain't worth it. Step back. 
She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. Where's Abel? He got hurt bad in a fight. We let him turn. He wanted to die quick, but we didn't let him. Fuck, you little monster. Don't talk to her, AJ. How about you and I chat instead? Back up. Minerva, open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organize these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential. You should have never attacked us, Lily. Your mission was a bad idea from the start, and you failed. And you're still mouthing off, despite being in a cell. That'll change. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. That seems like a pretty stupid way to make a point. It was extreme, but I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the parable of the twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. Kidnapping people and forcing them to fight? Sounds like slavery to me. Call it whatever you want. They were helping each other survive. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. Shit, Grinny, you... what the fuck? Is that true? Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. 
I need it to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one, or the dead one? You, you brainwashed her! I'll be the one who breaks out at night and cuts your throat while you sleep. <sighs> kind of what I expected you to say. But you'll see, I'm not kidding around. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Lewis, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo, you better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck, 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 fuck! Easy. Stay still. No, 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 please, come. Don't make this hurt more than it has to. AJ, no! Oh my god, fuck, please, no! You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river, or we'll tie you up and watch you turn. Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin. He wasn't a monster, but you are. Bang. So you killed Marlin. I bet you'd make a great soldier. AJ, listen to me. Don't talk to her, okay? She's a monster. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. <laughs> fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clem inside! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that. This is the only way we survive. Are you serious right now? After everything that she's done, you're just gonna help her? Fuck you! to you you killed sophie what the fuck you just decided hey i'll work for these people they seem friendly enough don't act like you understand what happened you weren't there well, i'm here the now what the fuck are you doing I? you're gonna get us In all this killed. shit it looks bad Penny. fuck you <coughs> what the hell are you doing <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Violet, we have to go. No! We planted a bomb on the boat. Fuck you, there's a bomb. Mitch is dead. You just, just fucking go. We have to get the hell out of here now! Go! I need to find AJ. I... I can... Uh, I'll be fine. Better see you on land. 
You will. Focus that energy. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come for help. You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Plenty of food, comfortable beds for you and Clem. You can even share a room. Found one more sneaking over the docks. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. Found this in the herd. No wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? Force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. Don't listen to her, AJ. All they do is kill. It's not for a cause. It's... Nothing else? No. Fine. You're no use to me anyway. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. <coughs> Kill it. No! What the fuck? Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Shooter! Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Fine. Go ahead, then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? I see. You came here to cry. Tim. Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please, don't! No! Wait! I give up! I will give up! 
Put down the gun. I'll let everyone leave. My crew and I will leave. We won't bother you anymore. AJ! She's not a threat. Lower the gun. You weren't down there. You didn't see what she did. She cut off my friend's finger in front of us. You don't have to do this, please! It's a trick! Don't you fucking dare, AJ! Just give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. Lower the gun, AJ. Okay. Pilgrim of sorrow Cast out in this wide world to roam Uncertain of life for tomorrow I want to make heaven my home Sometimes I am tossed and driven Sometimes I know not where to a city called heaven I'm striving to make it my home I have a few days yet to wander a few more hard battles to fight no comfort I find in the daylight the storms are descending each night Sometimes I'm both tossed and driven Sometimes I know not where to roam I heard of a city called heaven and trials confined I hope that they take me and companions your fate and my own are the 
Sometimes I'm all tossed and driven. Sometimes. 